Hey guys, welcome to Player Models. In this video, I'm going to break down really the reason that we created this tool, which is to give you the ability to build and immediately backtest your own models and then ultimately create lineups off of those models. So if you're new to this tool and new to creating models, the first thing I do is go up to this open tab, click open and you can look at pro models. So these were created by myself and CSU RAM 88. Um, and you can see their ratings here, which I'll discuss in a bit, but you can copy these models and just look at um, basically the factors that we're considering. Um, you can also create your own model. So if you click here and click add, um, you'll have to name a model. So we'll just call this test model. And when that um, goes through, you'll see that none of the players have ratings. We need to create a model first for these players to have ratings, obviously. So we have a bunch of sliders here on the left, and we also have the ability to remove or add any categories that you'd like. So we'll have all of them in there at first. Um, and click OK, and you'll see all the different sliders here. So we have 100 points that we can use, and we um, can move any slider as much as we want, as long as we don't use those 100 points. So let's say that we move Vegas all the way to 100 points. What you'll see will end up happening is the players will get rated, but they'll get rated basically just based on how they um, are projected in Vegas. So you can see the Dodgers are projected at 4.8 runs, um, which has historically been in the 78th percentile in terms of a team's Vegas projection, and that's why all those players have a rating of 78. So if we were to weigh Vegas at... 50, and then um, we'll say the weather at 50, that's just going to be a combination of the um, Vegas line, the projection for the team, and the weather rating in that game. So you can see that the Dodgers actually have a perfect weather rating for this game, which basically means that the uh, hitting conditions are very, very favorable. And so the projection for those batters on that team is now in the 80 is 89, which means that it's in the 89th percentile historically historically. So those are very good ratings. Obviously, we don't want to create a model like this. You can see that this model um, would have historically scored 0.86 points above expectation, even a model as simple as this. Um, and then I'll, I'll get to what these numbers mean in a second. So basically what we're going to do is just mess around with these different sliders and weight them according to how important we think that they are. So we'll say that Vegas is very important to us. We're going to give it a quarter of all the points that we have at 25. Um, consistency just a little bit. That uh, Woba percentile we'll say is a 10. Um, so you're just messing around with all of these different factors. We can weight them however we want. It doesn't matter. When you're finished, you click update and you're going to see this plus minus number is going to change. So that is immediately back testing your model. It shows you historically how have the top 5% of players that have been created by that model in the past, how have they performed in terms of plus minus, which is the points above or below expectation based on their salaries on those on so on the site. So right now we're looking at DraftKings. So this model is much better. It's plus 1.32 points for these batters on DraftKings, which is actually a pretty good score. Um, so we still have more points that we can use. It really doesn't matter how many points you use. It just matters what the relationship is between uh, the variables. So if we had Vegas at 50 and weather at 50, it's the same as if we have both of those at 25. It's just the relative weights that matter. So this is a simple batter model. Um, if you hover over the plus minus, you can also see upside consistency and duds. That's a percentile rank that gives you an idea of what sort of upside um, and floor this model has, which is good if you're looking at tournaments or cash games, and higher numbers are, are always better there. So a high percentage in duds actually means that it's produced fewer players who have performed really poorly in the past. And for cash games, you really want to be looking at that, those consistency and uh, dud percentages. So we've created a um, basic batter model. Um, it can be a lot better. There's different things that we can do here. And uh, one thing that I suggest is if you're testing a model, just move a slider one direction or another. So if we move Vegas down to 15 and click update, we can see how that plus minus changes. So the plus minus moved down, which means that 
Vegas, we probably want that up higher, right? Because Vegas is indeed important. When we move it up higher, the plus minus increases. So that's just a simple way to test what we have. So this is a basic batter model. The second part of this equation is pitchers. So we click on pitchers and you can see with um, all the ratings again at zero, we can add more sliders if we'd like. You can also remove anything that's not important to you. So we'll do the same thing. Vegas, salary change, strikeouts are important. We want a bunch of those. Um, pro trends, which is uh, angles that we've created using our trends product, which has proven to be really, really predictive for pitchers. So we click update and we'll get a plus minus number. 3.42. Same thing we have the upside consistency does. Um, and so we can mess around with this. We've used 95 of the points. So we're at 3.42. We'll move Vegas up, see how that changes. I would guess it's going to go up just a bit. So it does to 3.55. And so you can just mess around with this and create models that suit your needs for the particular leagues that you're in. The player ratings will change. So if we move this down you can and click update, you'll see these ratings will change. They won't change that much. We still have Cueto and Ross as our top two pitchers, even with that um, move of the slider, which actually increased our plus minus quite a bit, suggesting that month salary change for a pitcher isn't actually something that we want to weight heavily. So that's really how we're testing it. Now we have um, a basic model for both uh, pitchers and batters. We're looking at the DraftKings view. If you click on FanDuel, it'll give you um, it's the same model, we'll give you the plus minus uh, for batters and pitchers on FanDuel. And then what we can do is just click show optimizer. We're looking at DraftKings and it'll give us the optimal lineup based on our model settings. Um, so this is the optimal lineup for today. If we change this, let's move Vegas way up, click update. These ratings will change and the optimized lineup will also change. So we can click update. And you can see that some of the batters changed. And because we are weighting Vegas so heavily and the Dodgers are projected so well, it forced more Dodgers, Turner, and Ethier into our lineup. So definitely mess around with this. See what kind of models you can create, how high you can get the plus minus, how high you can get upside consistency and dud percentages, and use this to create profitable daily fantasy lineups.